All right, so let's uh, uh, bring this uh, finance meeting to order. It's 6 7 p.m. Wednesday, November 2nd. Uh, we've got a couple items on the agenda. Um, first thing is um, the 20. 20 FEMA grant um, that we were awarded finally came through uh, for the fire department. Uh, it was $40,214.29. So we need to, uh, believe, do we need to do an appropriation to accept an appropriation to, I believe so, to yes, sir. spend as well? This is going to go for hoses, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. And we've already received the product. So, so, so now we just have to pay the bill. Yep. So, so it took the same amount of time to get the money as we did to get the hoses. No, we got the money pretty quick. Just we did. Money. We did. This is the formality backside, and then I believe there's a two thousand dollar fee. There's a it's a match. Yeah. Yeah. Because we uh we paid the company. Um, it's the same. Yeah, we paid the company to do it. So really good company, but um, uh, yeah. Okay. We just got to pay the fee, pay the company, or or yeah, the money's in. So we got to pay for the hose, and we got to pay our match, and we're good to go. Sorry, I'm repeating everything you guys said. No, that's fine. Uh, I'm fine with taking that forward. So, all right, so all in favor, can we move on? So, uh, the second thing on the agenda, uh, unless you had, I'm looking for that okay. right now. So, um, you can go ahead. And second thing on. was to discuss uh, the adoption of the reader rules and regulations um, that uh, Reed has passed on to us to look over. I've had a chance to. Uh, to go through a little bit, did you read through that? I've well? read through it. I'm sure I could study it more because it is uh, quite lengthy. But, uh, well, there were some few things that I was concerned about, but after I read, uh, you know, there's it's it wasn't it all seems pretty straightforward. So that's I thought so. From what I can tell too, and people I've talked to in other municipalities have told me it's pretty much boilerplate from what we've got as well. So yeah, I know uh, Mr. Bishop's got some concerns, so we'll let him uh, speak up, sir. Sure, if you'd like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I need to introduce myself for the uh, record. Can't. Why don't you give us your name and address so it's for the record. Uh, Mike, Mike Bishop, um, owner of CNJ Tax and Financial Service, uh, reside at 1110 Borough Boulevard, Nelsonville. And uh, as um, uh, a local county firm, you know, we, we prepare a number of returns, probably the majority of the returns that the city gets um, regarding income tax. And we are we do file um many rita forms there's a if you looked at the list of rita age uh, taxing uh, districts um it's probably by the hundreds i don't know if you had a chance to look at that or not um, they are very um involved they are very detailed they are they can be complicated actually just the filing of the returns and so i i i what my first question is um Will this, is this a done deal or is this going to the voters to decide on to whether or not, uh, you know, Rita's going to be uh, processing our income tax returns? So we've, we've already begun the process to, uh, we've already passed the legislation. We've already began the, uh, the transformation of, no, not transformation, transition to read it so that next year we will begin starting 2023 correct okay yep. so it is i'm sorry can, i apologize mike can we get taylor on the as well Scott? he's i try he's on okay. well but i have a question for you mm -hmm. so before i started working for the city i worked in black lick and they use rita and when i did my taxes for uh 2019 there was no forms at all to be done they just kept my money and there was nothing. So is that just because that's how the municipality did things? There was no, I mean, there was nothing to be done. So mm -hmm. is that something that us as a municipality could change potentially? So that would be less burden on the taxpayer? That was one of my questions. So, oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I, I have a little bit on that one. What I read um, on through all those regulations and such, it sounds like we do have a choice mm -hmm. of how we, um, have and we have a pretty simple form now. Um, I don't think there's any reason to make it more complicated. And it sounds like we have the ability to actually file online too now, which is I think convenient for a lot of people. Um, so I think we do have that opportunity to like choose. Well, yeah, the, so. yeah. You the, the the current Nelsonville tax form will no longer be used for as a read of filing. So. Um, 
is it, can, can I ask the reason why we are going to that versus keeping it in house and so forth? Because my next question is going to be, what is the cost of doing this? You know, sure. And are they getting some of our tax money to do this? Are we looking at an income tax rate to pay for it? I mean, that these are them are three questions. So, right. If I can, yeah, we're not looking to increase taxes. Okay. If anything, I would be the one that's proposed actually lowering our income tax only because I'm a lower tax guy. You know, I don't I don't like the higher tax burden, but they will receive a portion of our income tax that they get, uh, collect in you know as a. Um, as compensation for it. Um, personally, why I think it's a good thing is um, I think it gives the city um, continuity uh, in terms of when people file, you know, auditors may come and go and may change over time, but we'll have the same collection system. I think it's going to be safe for the city long term. Excuse me. Um, and I think. Um, I think we will have less concerns, less worries with I, and, and I and I totally agree with you, Corey, because um I think Taylor's done a great job, you know, as far as um I'm I'm not sure of, of enforcement, you know what I mean? We don't sure. see many right. and very few, if any letters, you know, saying, Hey, you didn't file, here's your hundred fifty dollar penalty and why, you know, and be be in compliance. So we haven't seen any of that, but I know in previous I mean, there's people I know. I know personally people you hand the form and file thirteen, yeah, right? You know, right? And I'm talking about the people that live in Nelsonville, that work in OU, or in Athens or Lancaster, or Columbus. That, that, you know what I mean? Because right. because Nelsonville's credit, I'll get it. Right. yeah. Although we do have a cheap income tax rate compared to Athens and Lancaster and Logan, and you know, you can go around us and we do have cheapest, but the credit to other cities kind of throws us. You know, up into that big number, also. And that, that's part, that was part of the impetus for me to support it. Um, that there are so yeah. many, I know there's a lot of people who don't pay the taxes. <laughs> and we know Rita is in Scott, and, you know, Re Rita, right? are they are bird dogs mm -hmm. and they have, I think it's the is it the CCA? Is that who they are able to get financial information from the US government mm -hmm. or from the state of it's Ohio? State, they, state. They, yeah, so yeah, they and uh. And, and I've also seen him go back, and this is a question that you may not be able to answer. I've seen Rita go back seven, eight years on taxpayers. I think it's two. Well, I've seen him. I've seen him go back further than that. Yeah, so I, think, I don't know if there's a statute. You know what I mean? I would like to know that if you can yeah, find, I don't, that out that find out. And honestly, I don't think we're looking to go back. I when we were talking, I thought they said they were going to go. They was, they might look back two or three years. Yeah. Yeah. We're more interested. In going okay. Forward, so uh, now if from. From Al Goldwell when he came in and made his presentation. I just looked it up on my email here. I'm really not playing on Facebook. Um, so basically, the cost of the city would be 48964 is what they've got projected. But our additional revenue would be 112886 Yeah. Yeah. So okay. We'll yeah. I mean, it, it, it pays. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I'm sure of that. Okay. So, so another goofy thing that we have. Is the mandatory filing? You know, my mom and dad. My mom, my dad gets a three hundred dollar a month pension. They both get Social Security, but yet they still have to file a notice for city income tax, which is ridiculous. But they are in compliance, and I'm sure there's other taxpayers in Nelson with the same thing. Will that hold true also with Rita or not? I think Scott may have already answered that. They're kind of where he lived in Blacklick, but. I'm just curious, is, is this a mandatory filing, you know, like like it has, like it is right now? I'm pretty sure that won't change. Okay. Yes. I, I, I'm, you know. Well, but if it's, if we make, to, to be honest, someone, I, I, I know a lot of folks that are, you know, in that same situation, they don't, they're not required. They, they end up not having to pay anything. They're required to file, but they're not have, having to pay. You know, it'd be kind of nice to be able to have maybe a, a simplified version of that form that you know you can submit electronically or whatever say this just shows like okay don't need to do it like they don't need when to they file that out they have to list their pension and social security and all that stuff they just no, have because the, the nelsonville form doesn't even it does there's not a line on the return that asks for that it has for w two wages yeah. and then other schedules yeah but no pension or social security and they've got to have a good process for it though i see what you're saying because i know my mom and dad get very upset every time they go to that's very probably yeah, her that, that's a good um <laughs> but uh 
And they only started doing it because I started working here. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, now we got to yeah, work. I mean, we're, we're, we're being honest. Let's here. see. I think they live on railroads. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, it's one of those that. Uh, I mean, but that's just the honest truth, you know. I mean, yeah. it's and um, but I, I don't. You know, that's a great point. I don't know. That's a question we need to get the answer to. Yeah, what right. is Rita's process for that? Because that one, I don't remember asking yeah. that one. A lot of your other ones, I remember the answers to. So far, you've asked questions that there we got answers to. But this one, I don't remember an answer. This yeah, one, what you guys remember. remember. Yeah, why should someone who has that little... Yeah. It, there's got to be a simplified process for that one. I get it. That's a good one. Because if, if they're... If they're the watchdog and they can track income, then if there's not taxable income, then why should they have to file? Right. You know? so, that's all I have. That's all I have. And you guys that's a good one. Great. Yeah, that's a real good one. I made note of that, so we'll find the yeah. answer to that one for sure. So yeah. you look like you're loaded from air coming. In. Yeah. Oh man, we were like Mike's he's looking like I, took a shower. I got, I got comfortable. <laughs> No, I got comfortable. I thought I was gonna be here for a minute. Uh, <laughs> no. I was hoping you're gonna come in and say. Same manager needs a budget for storm drain storage. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like, yeah, no, he's where's it at, man? That's why he's going to help. Right over that one, isn't it? <laughs> His ditch isn't dug yet. <laughs> so, just your opinion, what do you think of Rita? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it because it's, um, you know, you can file a, a United States tax return on two pages. You can do a state of Ohio in two pages, but when you do a RITA, it's three pages <laughs> or four pages. You know what I mean? It's 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 just more, more it's just more it's more work, you know. And then anytime we have more work, of course, we make more money. So right. I'm, but that is not my my concern is just uh I, I we're just we're taking something that's simple and we're making it more complicated. But if the city's going to make money on it, I understand. I understand what they're doing. Make sure everybody's so, their fair share. Yep. Cool. So, appreciate it. That's all I have. Very good. Yeah. Appreciate it. Feel free to hang out if you want, or if, you want. Oh, if that's <laughs> no, 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 that's you stay, no, no, no. You talk now. You got to stay for the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I got to the 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 prayer to leave too. Okay. <laughs> All right, hey guys, thank you. I appreciate it. Take it easy. Okay. All right. So, anything else on Rita? Right, we'll move on to. That was a great question. It was. Yeah, yeah. that was a really good question. Because I, I can imagine. And honestly, we could. I. I think there shouldn't be any reason why you can't make it such a simpler form. Like three three pages for not the city income tax, that'd be ridiculous. Yeah, totally. So. I, I just don't know what the right answer is, but there's got to be an the form, but I'm sure, but if it's electronic, maybe that yeah. Yeah. can burn a little yeah. bit too. Where hopefully, yeah. paper. I know you're about the only municipality around that did paper anymore. So. Yeah. Oh, we're getting away less and less every day. But, uh, all right, did you find that other item? It, yes, it's not for us. We're good. Okay. It's legislation, but it's not finance legislation, so we're good. Okay. And um, so thank you for your patience on that. You're welcome. We're all set. All right. So I got the budget. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to start with level? Do you want to, do you want to start at the uh, expense report level or you want to start up higher? If, if you have a, a way that you want to kind of guide us, that's fine. I really just, I had the opportunity already to go looking through it and... I'll be honest with you, I operate through the expense report level. I don't okay. really mess at the higher levels. That's TSAP's uh, genre. I I play down at the uh, nuts and bolts level because that's where I operate with the, uh, sure. the managers. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you want to go through there, we, we certainly can. So here's, here's a couple of things that... Um, Things that I was looking at. So, okay, so a couple items here. As um, I was talking to Jason, we were looking at the defense guy was here. So we we looks like we had uh, about fifty three thousand in uh, the budget this year for um, for building renovations for the city hall, right? So I'm at uh, I'm at uh, one hundred sixty four, one hundred two hundred level. Okay, City Hall. So you want to okay. So we had fifty three thousand budgeted this year for that. I can okay. assure you that did not include any of the fence stuff. Now we can absolutely add. Well, no, stuff. no, no. But like I, this was what made me think of it. Sorry. Okay. So, but we have a fifty thousand budgeted for next year. While I was back there, I was looking at how some of that back parking lot. I mean, if 
you go forward and put a, a fence and mm -hmm. a new gate there, We're like that. that area is probably going to need at least sealed, if nothing else, right? So we're going to need money still in the budget, probably for you know, uh, city building. And I'm, that's why I'm wondering: is fifty thousand going to be? Well, he has a different. Uh, so we could do that. He has a different line item under okay. his area that we could put that under. We, we can put it under there as well. But okay. he has a line <laughs> item under his. Let me go find it. That we use typically, not so much that line item. We use where's his number at? Because he's still got a little bit of money left in his, not much. It's under uh because that would be under those buildings fall under water street building. Okay, so he uses under those. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking buildings, about those buildings mostly fall. Now I understand that you know the police department falls under there, so we could use a little bit of that pool for that building. But the majority of those buildings fall under his buildings, which are water street buildings. Well, so, I was just thinking that area. You know, it'd be nice to have um, maybe a smoother mm -hmm. area back there, or just continue the improvements that we've made this year. I don't know. I, Hey, you're right. saying my language. Okay, so I just want to make sure we're kind of on the same page. I just I, wondered. How's the lighting back there? Um, it's okay. So if we're going to make that our entrance, so if we want to make that our primary entry and exit for um, especially PD, mm -hmm. I want to increase the actual gate areas more, you know, um, mainly for the night, very, you know, mainly for PD. And um, but we wouldn't have to increase it a whole lot. We could just put a, an extra pole light on those specific areas. But for the actual, it was a lot better than our main parking lot, I can assure you that. I, that. I was gonna ask about that too, because it is pretty dark out there. But we added about four lights when we added these lights out here. We added four <laughs> lights oh, to the, the building. Other. That's right. Yeah, when we added these two lights to the building here, we added four lights out there, which lit up the perimeter pretty good out there. So. We're doing pretty good. Now we don't have anything on the back side, but we do have a light inside the salt barn. So when it is salt time, we have illumination inside of there. So and and so along those lines, then with those continue on those improvements, then our you know I didn't see a line item for like um, how or where I'm not sure where you would pull money from to like because I think. You know, as Jason and I were talking when we were looking at some of that, we have some areas where I feel like the that yard may not be secure, you know, from people you know getting inside. Uh, and if we put a gate there, you know, I don't want to make it where people want to walk in there. So, you know, do we need cameras? Do we need, you know, other security features like that just to uh, you know yes. secure the place? Okay, so and I don't know where you're thinking about pulling that. Do we have money? Earmarked for that. Right? So Jordan's actually applying for a hundred thousand dollar security grant as we speak. It's due the end of this week, which gets his badge in, badge out, out access. And then, uh, in addition to that, we, if we are successful, so let me back up a little bit. Um, when I talked to the security company, they told me that they have additional um, products now that they can have uh, that they have access to. I don't even know what this means per se. But there's newer products out there that they can put. I don't know if it's, I don't even know what it is. I don't even want to speculate what it is, but they have stuff that they can put out there that will monitor those areas that they didn't even have available over a year ago. And they didn't want to stop, even make them available a year ago because they want to make sure they were tested. Sure. Um, but that is mm -hmm. definitely on the radar with this grant that we're applying for now. Okay. So that, um, so we haven't set any money aside, but we're hoping that we can get the funds for that. Yes. Okay. Now, with that said, we have a security cam system that we purchased now for in here. It's the same security cam system we put at the pool. It's a residential system, but it's a really nice system. They're a thousand bucks a piece. And uh, I would want to put it on the, if we do the gates there, I'd want to put it on the street department building and uh, have cameras on that mainly on that building all the way around to have full 360 coverage on the lot out there and uh, That would only be a thousand dollars, but we would have 360 coverage off that building which would get us a lot of coverage on that entire lot out there And it would also cover both of those gates out there and it's a pretty decent 
system for what we need instead of what is it real tech real it's the same one we have at the pool that has audio and uh, we, we access it through our apps it's the same one that's monitoring uh, nelson commons park right now it's not as good as poly but it's pretty darn good for a thousand bucks it's pretty nice so okay. i would recommend that we go that route at the bare minimum if we do not if we're not successful with the brand okay now with your magic badge out is that on all doors or that'd be the entire facility okay so um that'll be the dream system that i've been wanting so that'll be the entire facility here badge in badge out that'll be the entire water plant as well that'll be full detection at the water plant as far as uh, water detection on the floor so if they have a you know, say a water pipe breaks or something, it'll alert them. And then that'll also uh, include surveillance uh, at the water plant. It'll include surveillance within PD and it'll include some surveillance here. I'm not sure how far. Uh, I don't know how much surveillance that gets me inside and outside uh, the common areas of City Hall. So I'll have to supplement that with, uh, it just depends on how far that gets us with that money. So I don't know how far that gets us with that money, but uh, it'll definitely be a nice addition if we're successful getting that grant. It's a grant that I never knew existed. It's been around for quite some time, and Jordan's doing a great job of writing it. It's in a week and a half. Great. So these these grants are coming across. Do you just go out looking, and they're there. Or is, this one, uh, Connie Alt here. Okay. Shot it over to uh, myself and. Uh, Chief Barber, Chief Barber sent it over to uh, myself and I sent it to uh, Jordan Wright. So Jordan's just figuring it out. It's her first time and Pitch has been helping her this week in between murder stuff. Okay. All right. Um, another thing that I want to talk about. So we have um, uh, 20000 budgeted for economic development. Um, and uh, actually, it doesn't look like we really used much of it this year. Um, but we have twenty thousand um, budgeted for that, and I guess this is development programs. So um, not the Fourth of July or not Parade the Hills. Um, this is just sure. for, um, that. So it doesn't look like we did use much of that. Those funds this year, we have twenty thousand next year. I'm not sure what those programs are. So there will be um, a, when I say substantial. There'll be about a six thousand dollar chunk still pop out of ours this year, and we use that to buy the Dora signs, the ATV friendly signs, and the nicer decorative uh, stop signs for the square. Um, but it can definitely be put to better use than that. But that's what we used it for this year. They just haven't been uh, pulled out of this year's funds, um, probably since you looked at it last. I can probably still have been pulled out of there, but that's what we used it for as a pay for. Dora and the ATV stuff. So uh, when it comes to that, we we don't use it very. I haven't found a lot of good things to use it on yet. Yeah, and I don't want to blow it up with other stuff. Yeah, I agree. I uh, well, I mean, I I've seen um, where some cities have uh, created some opportunities for um, maybe some of their. Uh, building owners or maybe some of their business owners to kind of give them the opportunity to expand. Um, and as far as how to set that up in a way that, you know, there is longevity there because I, you know, some businesses may just not be managed properly. Maybe that's why they're struggling, but you know, if you have the opportunity, if a business is struggling, maybe because they need an extra person and don't have the ability to get that going yet, you know, you can help spur that along and then, um, you know, but, yeah, I, I don't know what the real concerns are. Maybe that's something we work with the chamber a little bit with and find out what their businesses need. But somehow I would like to have that, you know, because I think if, you know, you get another taxpayer, you know, in the city or, you know, you're able to get another business in the city, that's money well spent. Money well spent, yeah. One of the things I planned on using that for that just hasn't come through uh, yet this year is, um, the and I've talked to you guys about it before is the vans. So uh, once the money comes through, the money's I have, to my knowledge, it, it may have already come in. I don't know, but the uh, uh, the money's coming for the sound system for 
for the square. And uh, economic development money could be used for uh, in three, four hundred bucks a month. I mean, again, it's not going to touch that nineteen thousand dollar. You know, we're talking a little bit of money. Um, but that was part of it as well. So, but back to your original point, yes, absolutely. But I wanted to throw that in there. As far as the music on the square goes, if we use the set a budget, maybe maybe even make that its own line item, pull some of it out of there and put that in there. That way, if we did say 400 a month, you know, max for a band or multiple bands, or even if that's something we're not interested in doing at all, <coughs> but that's something that we could set aside. And I, I like the idea. Uh, who do you envision would manage something like that? Right now, one of our uh, part-time firemen, you know, he's very involved in that. Uh, you know, that's something that he does now. Um, he's offered to get us going. Um, not necessarily his band per se, but just to get us up and going. And, uh, you know, Stewart's Opera House also has connections in that uh, world. And uh, they've been helpful as far as get us up and going. You know, something is open mic night. What I envision as far as cities particip the city participation is providing a space and creating an environment. Here's the equipment, here's maybe a shade, you know, plugged in on a Friday night, you know, and then our employee before they're done for the night on Friday night goes and picks it all up and brings it back. That's what I'm envisioning as far as like cost of the city, that's it. Nothing more, you know, maybe our cops are up there, doors going on, you know. I'm not looking at a cost to the city or an expense to the city. I'm looking at providing a space and then hopefully these other organizations, or I'm trying to partner with these other organizations to start filling these gaps, you know. And, uh, you know, if we provide money, then, you know, just to get it going, you know, take maybe fill in the gaps for a band and so be it. Um, and then maybe it can be sustainable, like on its own, and then right. Yeah. So maybe we're, fire Friday, come back. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah. you you would be the facilitator of it, and uh, um, really, someone hopefully another organization might take it on as their baby and and uh, and do it. Then. Yes, yeah. great. trying to provide a catalyst. If you, I don't, I don't yeah. know if that's no right word, but I'm trying. To, yes, space, equipment, maybe even a little cash. Let somebody else take it on and. You know, get it going, and um, is what I'm envisioning. Get it going after the first of the year, maybe even Christmas time. You know, it'd be nice to get it up there, and maybe even have Christmas music. Well, actually, I think we have Christmas music already. I'm not sure how that um, works, but um, you know, there's no reason we can't do DJ um, different events on the square. You know, um, if people want to do events on the square, use that equipment up there for that as well. When, anyways, I'm getting way off target. Okay. But that's the type of stuff that I was envisioning for that. We didn't spend it on this year. So that next year I would like, that's the kind of things. In addition to what you had just mentioned, I think what you had just mentioned has fantastic ideas. I would love to see it. I mean, you guys, that's your wheelhouse, but I think like a Shark Tank committee for all that type of stuff is, you know, just as an example, is awesome. And, uh, and then, you know, also get it going on this side as far as just trying to get some entertainment going. You know, I think we just need to, or if we can just give a little push from our end, I don't think it's our wheelhouse to make it happen, but if we can just give a little jolt, why not? Okay. And so the only other thing really that I was wondering about on the budget is, so is road repair, is that is that our paving? Yeah. So, so yeah, we had we're all up, up into one. So we had a hundred and ten thousand budgeted this year. We've got a hundred and fifty thousand budgeted for next year. Um, is that gonna? I know that next year is not our big year as far as you know paving. I know twenty twenty four is going to be the year, um, but is is one hundred and fifty going to be enough to get done? Kind of in your your vision of you know redoing the streets and. I know you. I know you have a timeline, and you're trying to get. You want to redo all the streets in Nelsonville, but like, it, it, I mean, is that going to be enough to really impact what you're trying to accomplish next year? Even though like 2024 is going to be the big year. So, so I, I guess it. Uh, 
The short answer is there's never going to be enough when it comes to streets. I can tell you the way these guys are putting down hot patch right now. I would love to go pull the invoices. I bet you they're close to 20, over $20,000 just in hot patch that these guys are throwing down with the, with the trailers and everything else. I mean, they're doing dump, for some of these, they're doing dump truck. Somebody's wife came and told me about a uh, complaint the other day. And they just took a dump truck load and a trailer load at the same time because the whole road was slipping. Talking about you. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> they went and just dumped it. Wife, I love me. Right now, the wife. And uh, you know, they went and repaired it. But it was a good thing. I'm glad she came and told us, you know, but it was that bad. But those are the kind of repairs we were doing. They took four tons of asphalt up there in the dump truck. And then they, you know, they rolled that in. And then they did another four tons with the trailer. I mean, that's eight tons right there, literally in an hour, you know, and, and that's the kind of. When I got here, they weren't doing that in a day. You, they weren't doing right. four tons in a day. Right. So now we're doing that in an hour, especially with the help of the star folks over here. You know, they got a lot of hands that they're able to put down a lot of material quickly. So I'd be curious to see, and we can pull that now, that data. Um, this is a long way of saying no. The, how much we're putting down in temporary patch. So what I would ask council is, I know that, technically the booger's mine um, to pick a street. And I'd be happy to pick a street or even recommend you a couple streets that I would like to pave. But, uh, and maybe that's what we do, have a street committee meeting. And I maybe re recommend to you guys what streets I would like to see paved. And maybe you guys pick one of them or what streets you guys would like to see paved that are realistic, because they're gonna be small. Yeah, let's, let's be honest. Well, and, and these are real streets <clears throat> that we can realistically do that are small. And we need to pick small, realistic, 50,000 is about the max we can do for paving in a year. And then the rest of it's gonna be repair. And uh, because that's gonna be, because the road repair includes patching, that a lot of that's also grass maintenance on, on the side of the roads and everything else. So um, it's not just asphalt. So, you know, you look at, Let's just say 50 to 70, the absolute most for paving, um, paving a road, like paying the keys to come out and do it, you know. And sometimes we can get crafty if we have other projects in town, but we're not going to have any projects in town next year because of 24, right? So we won't be able to stack anything up with that. But, uh, well, the thing is that I've been a stickler on when it comes to the streets is I don't want to necessarily just put pavement, I want to put concrete over, you know. A road that still has faulty, you know, pipes underneath that we haven't repaired or has zero curbs left, right? So, in my opinion, if we have the ability to take, and I, if we're going to do it, I want to do it right. Let's mm -hmm. do it one time. And so, is it possible to take a few streets? I don't know if we'll need to mill it down. You know, that's always an extra expense. But then, you know, curb it. You know mill it if it needs it and then you know storm drains if it needs it water line sewer line and then and then pave it and even if it's not an entire street right but maybe a section of that street that's used the most potentially so i can think of a couple of those that get a lot of usage that you know you, you could maybe can't do the whole street but maybe you can do a section of it that gets the most travel um but yeah, so I figured 150 is not enough, but you know, I want to be able to be because the other thing is too, I, I don't want to I don't want to put the pavement down, I want to put the asphalt down and then have to dig it back up because we've got a water break or something. So that's why well, I think it's important to replace that while we're while we're moving. Correct. It means that our, we're tearing up our streets more and making them worse longer, if you will. But the long-term goal, right? Short-term pain, long-term gain is what I'm how I view that. So well, I think the first thing um, with that amount of money, the first thing we need to do is get that letter up to the jail committee because that match, that amount of money, if they want to split that road, that's the best bang for our buck right there. Because that, if, if that's the one big project we do for the year, that's the one big project we do for the year because that is a big road. Um, that's a big project. 
We would and have ours would be 150. That would be our portion of it. No, no, no. Ours oh, would be okay. No, I'm saying 20. Oh, I got you. Yeah. So 20,000. So because I guess what I'm trying to say is out of that 150,000 we have budgeted, right? Mm -hmm. You to do to put toward an actual paving project, 50 to 70 K. Mm -hmm. Because that other 70 to 80 is going to go to patching. That's going to go to uh, all the stuff that goes uh, into maintaining the roads as well. So you're going to have all the, uh, the equipment that breaks on the side of the mowing, the guardrail, the uh, anything that goes into keeping the roads. So realistically, of the 150, we're really only getting maybe 78,000 out of it. Or actual less, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 70 on a very good day. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Crap. <laughs> yeah, I have Greg Clements at home watching right now oh, saying, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, not right now, he's not. Oh, he's not. Posted. Yes, when he gets posted. No, no, we're live. We got oh, four yeah. watchers. Uh, we're all four. <laughs> oh, boy. He's having a heart attack right now. Uh, let's see. Um, I got no text from him. I got no text. Right. Or Missy. Not either one of them. So. <clears throat> So. Anyway, uh, yes, so that's why I would suggest we pick. Well, we used to have, um, we used to have a, a five-year plan on the, on the streets and um, we tried to prioritize it based on, you know, um, actual need. You know, I know some roads were not necessarily the most driven, but they might have been the worst shape. Um, and, uh, so, yeah, but some of those are still, some of those old roads, oh, brick. some of those are brick roads. So that's, they're getting more expensive tearing them out. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yep. He, there he is. He's watching. <laughs> He's watching. Uh, okay. uh, I'm going to get cussed out later, probably. Uh, so I, I saw one in pool, in pool funds and also in capital improvement. Looks like there was a $25,000 for full repair in each category. Well, in the uh, capital improvement, um, is that I'm not familiar, I'd have to go look. The other thing too, just while we're talking about that, um, they are not going to fix the pool this year because they say it's too cold and their chemicals will not set. So it's so, spring before they fix it then? Yes. So we be paying for that next year? Yes. And a uh, delayed opening too, huh? Uh, it shouldn't be, but uh, personally, I don't. Oh, that's another subject. We'll talk about that later. Right. Um, you said in capital, you saw that. Yeah, I saw in capital and in the. Well, the pool, the yeah, under pool and seasonal, under the pool repair, it says we had thirty-five this year, and it says we have twenty-five next year. Yeah, that's what so capital. Uh, I mean, that's typical. He usually, or there would be split up. So the capital would would be the big one, which it should twenty-five as well. Yeah, and then the. Uh, you and I didn't talk. That's probably just the standard amount that would have been put in there from last year. And then, then you have the plan for the park improvement slide item. That's almost twenty-five thousand as well. Park improvement slide item. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I told him what that was for. I'm just drawing a blank what that was for. I'm throwing like eight questions out of time. I just don't know. You're good. I should know. I'm trying to find out what I saw again now. I see the park, but I didn't see it. <clears throat> I can talk sewer. Oh, so we need to talk sewer plant. Let's talk sewer plant. No, um, no park improvement. Yeah, 25,000. Sewer plant got one up to July. Oh my gosh. Well, what's going on now? Same parts. Same parts got bumped up to July. Um, MCCs. Um, I will tell you that uh, I, I will tell you that next council meeting we should have a an executive decision or an executive session to talk about it. Okay, that's what I'll tell you. Okay, let's explain all that then. Um. So is that going to affect our sewer plant budget then? I'm sure it will. Yes. Yeah, it's going to. Yeah. Because that means we'll come have all the sludge too. Yep. yep. So which means that the money that we have set in the budget for um, 
this year for the forward pair. I have to get bumped to next year. It's not in the line item listed that way now. Because you know, if they only have pool repairs at 25,000, right, right. so we'll have to we'll have to bump that up because we're going to do that repair in the spring now. Oh, well, we've got 25 capital person as well for four repairs, right? Can so we use that for four repairs as well? Um, I mean, you could definitely, yeah, 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 we could. It wasn't that approximately what it was going to cost to fix it. It was 48,000. 48, oh, it wasn't that much. Yeah. Right below the threshold before I had to go to bed. Um, I'm sure they didn't say it that way. <laughs> it wasn't a very pleasant conversation. Yeah, not that um, also on the sewer, on the sewer collection, there was some movements of money from the sewer uh, operating budget down to the sewer collection operating because it should have been down there the whole time. Uh, we were kind of running up weird because we had the sewer plant guys uh, maintaining part of the sewer collection, and uh, that was just a Nelsonvilleism, which is okay. We still have it as a Nelsonvilleism, but what I mean by that is the sewer plant guys, the sewer plant guys that are maintaining the sewer collection system, will now be paying for the sewer collection system repairs out of a sewer collection system budget instead of a sewer plant budget. That makes sense. We just cleaned it up. Um, and the sewer, it's a bad large equipment, 75,000. Any idea what that's? Where, which one? It's under sewer. Uh, it's off to the side. Sewer where? Uh, it says add large equipment. Large equipment under what in the plant item? Uh, well, actually it wasn't under a line item, it was it was off to the right. It was repairs building 750, 765, 33, and 19. 750, 765. Scroll off to the right. It's added <clears throat> always in the margin there. 750, 765. Because I'm right here in the Yeah, add large equipment. Yep. Yeah, let's see. Oh, are, are we adding a, a line item called large equipment at 75? Which one's are right below? Numbers. Um, uh, there you go. Yeah. So it must not have transferred over here. Mm -hmm. Must just be an old note. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if you on this one for some reason. Feel like you're being peppered with questions here? No, no, I'm glad you're asking. Because I printed the You're on the expense report. Then. I, I'm on the Excel sheet that he uh, sent to all of us. Yeah, yeah, I'm on the 2023 budget number. Yeah, that's what this one is. Okay. 2023 Excel sheet that he just sent. Yeah. I just printed it though. Yeah. It may not have. Might see it online. Yeah, it's right next to building repairs. I don't know if that means we're adding a line item called large equipment, right? And add and putting seventy five thousand in there, or or are you looking? Is there a, a piece of sewer equipment that's no, uh, for collection? No. Yeah, just seeing that number, it's like oh, okay, that's a yeah. There should be nothing seventy five thousand. You go look over here next week. Yeah. That is clearly a chunk. I'm assuming that's where the old one came out because I believe that's the payment to the old equipment that came off the books this year at the old plant. Okay. Um, you mentioned that the new sewer plant, though, um, the press, we're building our own, correct? Mm -hmm. So would that be the money that we're, that we're, we're having to fabricate that? No, no, that's already done. Is it? Okay. Yeah, and the dumpster is like 10 grand. Okay. Um, and it's just regular 
dumpster self defense. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> there there, goes, there goes your street money. I know that's why I came over. I was watching the meeting. Speak of the devil's <laughs> ears. <laughs> Seventy thousand max for streets next year. Yep. Uh, okay. Got to save up for 2020, 2024. Yeah. The good news is, um, OPWC. I just got the date today. OPWC is, I believe it's the seventh. Seventh um, at nine thirty. So, and I believe that's the same day as our council meeting. No, council meeting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so if we have one fifty total, I'll find out exactly how much we. Uh, <coughs> put down on asphalt for patching. I'm just guessing right now, and it's a wild guess, but I, I, we gotta be close to 20 or 20, over 20,000 in patching this year, because we put down so much patch. Um, but I could be completely wrong. And now I don't even try to look it up, because I'll, yeah. I'll look bad trying to look it up on the camera. Um, and um, I mean, that's all I was able to do this year was seventy thousand paving, and then uh, and then I asked you guys for more money to patch, and then I got creative with other stuff too. I was trying to get more though. Seventy thousand. I know, I know you're trying. So, but I guess that's the thing, you know. Let's or seventy thousand doesn't pay anything. Yeah, doesn't pay anything. And I heard you say. Um, you want to call a street committee? Well, I that's the thing because I mean, I I'm all for collaborating if you guys want, you know, to pick. I mean, I'm happy to throw you a couple streets to pick from, you know, that have the best lines under them, the least likely that are going to leak or have new lines under them, you know. Uh, Here's a question for you. Then speaking of that, so we've got Myers and then Rose Street. Getting ready to, to be torn up, right? They would be perfect candidates to pave. Um, perfect candidates to pave. Um, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it's not that big of a. But they were perfect. For, uh, Myers, Monroe, and uh, Back Alley, if we can afford Back Alley. Those would be the best. Uh, back Alley, yeah. M Myers, Monroe, and Back Alley, if you could afford them, are the best candidates you got. Because they are torn to heck right now. Yeah. And then when they're they'll have all new lines and they already got water lines. They'll get uh, sewer lines and the storm uh, is getting fixed as we speak. Okay. Well, the storm and the sewer are getting fixed uh, at the same time. Okay. And so, then and then um, uh, so then we'll have all new lines there. Then we would have potentially just some curbing streets and. Actually, if there's any way to get any type of sidewalk money for some of these streets, because some of these streets have rough sidewalks, even if any. So, um, I'm trying to think if the, they were included in any of the other grants that we got, but because uh, we didn't request them, or just because they didn't pay for them. I'm, I'm just thinking of all the other grants that we have sidewalks rolled up into. So we have side, we have a lot. We have one, two, two grants, possibly. Three, soon to be through most likely with neighborhood revitalization that will all have uh, sidewalks rolled up into them and i don't think any of those three but that doesn't mean we can't get another one to roll them up into it but uh I'm, why not you know well maybe that's maybe that's where we put our focus on for next year on that you know that, that's a great suggestion I mean, perfect because it's, it. it is a good location. Lot it's highly visible from the train, from the bike path. Um, you know, you've got Rocky and the Mexican restaurant are very busy there. Perfect. Um, you know, you've got some residents that live there. So yeah, maybe even put some. Maybe get crazy and put some solar streetlights in there. <gasps> I, I, I love solar. I've got them all over my property around here. <laughs> <laughs> Love I think that's a wonderful suggestion. <laughs> All right, hey, I what came up with. Hey, is? I came up with a good suggestion. I'm just saying. Quit while you're ahead. I'm gonna stop it. <laughs>
Um, I was looking at the water too. There's another entry now with the large equipment, seventy five thousand. That's water and sewer. Maybe it's a piece yeah. for both of them then. Both, yeah. So water, sewer, that's what it is. He sublet it. He he put it in there for all of them. So it's for the uh, backhoe or the track hoe. Yeah. So he's putting a marker in there to he put a marker in there for himself to split that cost amongst all of them. Okay. So the track hoe is going to go in there and the dump truck's going in there. And but that money needs to be split equally amongst all those funds. That's what that is. Okay. So it's not seventy five thousand coming from each of them. Okay. It's uh, coming. So the dump truck will be split from a little bit from street, a little, a little bit from all the rest of them: water, sewer, um, sewer plant. You know, it's the same for the track hoe. So they'll all all the funds, and I don't know what percentage. He hasn't talked to me about what percentage yet because we need to figure out which one we use it the most, and it'll be different per uh, per piece of equipment. Um, you know, but that's it, what that is. He put a, it's a holder in there for the equipment. Okay. So he just put seventy five thousand on it. That's why I can't see it on my side. It's a note for him to go back. In is there to is that the total amount of that equipment? It, he or put a marker one? in there, seventy five for each one of them. Okay. And this might be more of a Taylor question, but uh, let's see. We got fifteen thousand dollars from Fire Chief Truck this year. How long before we pay that off? I believe this was the last year. So. Uh, and it should have been this year. So when when did we buy that, Corey? Was that nineteen? That was before me. Yeah, it was. It was before you, and I was on council that year. Um, so it would have been nineteen twenty. Yeah, it would have been nineteen twenty. So would it have been the first payment? They made the first so payment. four payments. Is that what I you're believe so? I'm they, not they made, to do. I think I they made the four year deal. Yeah, I think it yeah. was. I think they so, made the first payment the first year, and then that should be this year. This should be the last this year. Yeah, this twenty three should be it. Gotcha. So you're saying next year will be the last payment? I think so. Yeah, no, yeah, don't hold me. No, no, that makes sense. Yeah, this this, this coming. Year. Okay, so that makes sense. One more payment. Gotcha. When when the last payment's made, you can have the truck off my desk. Glad. <laughs> Um, we did make the last payment on the back truck. I was going to ask you about that. So nice. zero yeah, we made the last payment on the back truck, the last payment on the whole sewer. Yeah, was <laughs> yeah, we still have how many more payments on that street? Which sweeper? one? The street sweeper? <laughs> I have some ideas I'll share with you. <laughs> uh, is I'll, it going to be a planter in one of our <laughs> parks? So the motor store part, I guess, I heard. I don't know. I haven't been following on that one. Uh, the I think we only have one more payment on the cruisers, and uh, perhaps are even paid off. But they might one more, more payment on them. That was the buy one get one free. Then uh, going through, I'm trying to think loan wise. We have uh, 27 more years of Jefferson Street payments. Yeah, that's, that's $28,000 every year, in case anybody's wondering. No, nowhere. It's <laughs> painful every time. Yeah. Um, I saw you've got 20000 in IT expense. That's for the person to run IT and then the equipment upgrades, I assume. Uh, I would have to have Taylor explain all that breakdown. I don't remember what all it is, but we still pay. We pay. We, I, don't, I don't even know. Right. Um, quick question uh, now that we we'll think about that. Um, are we are we going to be still charging um, local same amount this next year? Or have as far as I know, there was a, I, I in fact we talked about it today, and there was uh, he said that there was uh, all full intentions of renewing. Um, did you guys have any intentions of changing anything? I, I, I'm going to leave that up to you guys as far as I don't see any need to change anything. Okay. I think we'll do. What are we talking about? Uh, Both go. Please contract. Oh, yeah. No, I, I don't have any, any intention yeah. of wanting to change that. No, I was just, I thought about that and didn't know if that was going to adjust or not. And then our uh, agreement with Hawking is still the same, correct? Yep. Um, I need uh, permission from you guys to move IT 
Right now, currently, our IT is in house employee at on my desk. I believe it's three hundred dollars almost a month or a pay period, or just shy of three hundred a pay period. It's two hundred. I can go get it if you want me to go get it. It's two hundred and some pay period. Um, every a week or two weeks. Every two weeks. Okay. Um. There's a multitude of reasons. I'm happy to go through them. Um, or if you want, you can just take my word on it and we can move it outside. I'll do whatever you guys want to do. Um, yeah, someone outside already that can. I do have someone that's interested in taking the job outside. They'll continue to work with our tier two support. Our tier two support won't change. That's why I added, you, mean you asked about the 20,000 total. So we have tier one, which is internal customer service. So we have tier two, which is the same people that work on our phones and they do our firewall and everything else. So the only person that would change would be that internal support. So if we have a problem with my computer now, instead of calling the internal person, I would call the person that works across town. So their availability would be such that we'd be able to keep up and running. That's what I'm told. And it wouldn't be a contract, it would be month to month. Therefore, if it didn't work out, then poof, go find somebody else. So we're not locked into a contract. This is someone who's an IT professional. Uh, they are an IT professional. They come vetted. They come recommended. They do IT work elsewhere. So if it doesn't work out and we're not happy with them, again, we're in a month to month. Or we're not in a contract with them. They're providing month to month service with us. Will at will service with us, so we're not trapped. Um, they're cheaper, they are 500 a month, so which is, I mean, not a whole lot cheaper, you know. The other one's just shy of 600, this one's 500, so we're not talking significant savings, but almost 200 dollars or almost 100 dollars a month cheaper. But uh, it, uh, who's maintaining our website right now? Infernal? No, no. I've never met the guy. Oh, was it Ryan? Yes. Okay. Does he still work at the library? I can't read. Ryan? No, I can't read. No, you can't read. Yeah, so I've got a reason to go there. They make videos now. Um, audio books. <laughs> I'm certainly happy to ask him about. Uh, Changing it up. Yeah, I don't know what we're. I'm definitely not in love with what it is. Yeah, I think we could use a refresh. Yeah, I'm not sure like what our agreement is or what we're you know, doing with it. You know, I don't. I think we just had a volunteer from the stands volunteer their services. So I heard. I heard that too. Thank you, sir. He is raising his hand. Yes, he was. He was. <laughs> well, the other night, I trust yeah. your judgment. Yeah, I think, I mean, I don't know what we're, I don't know what our current obligations are. I don't know what our um, current expectations are. I would need I, an ordinance. Okay. I would like to see, um, you know, some improvements made to the website. Though. Oh, you're talking about the website. Sorry. And, yeah. And just, um, but if, if there's a way of combining it and even, you know, and aggregate that, that's, you know, maybe that's cost savings for us too. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm I'll have, I'll, I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying. Yeah, I'll have you and Taylor can talk about the numbers and all that stuff. Around those I don't, yeah, I don't even know what that, uh, okay, yeah, all right. Well, um, other than that, before you move on, I have a question about the agreement with Book Talk. If our cost of every year increasing wages to the police officers, um. Equipment and all that shouldn't it go up on an annual basis at least two to three percent, like a cost of living adjustment? Yeah. So, for those of you in, that may not be able to hear Mr. Clement with his mask on, uh, he was asking about the book agreement. Should it go have a incremental increase annually uh, just for cost of living adjustments for like our officers, etc.? So, that's I, I agree, that's a good question to ask. Um, you know, that's I wasn't sure. 
if what we found out with what we were providing now, you know, for over there, their their council meeting, I believe, is tomorrow night. I'm happy to attend and uh, just see how that's received. Okay. I mean, I think that that's only fair. I mean, it's just a basic inflation rate. I mean, fuel shot through the roof. Say if we go inflation, we above nine percent. Well, yeah, we don't, I don't want to do that. Please, please give me a heart attack. No, I don't even live in a real heart, but you know, yeah, but I'm not advocating for that at all. But yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good, good point. But you know, he's he's it's true. You got gas, but you you know you really. You don't yeah, have control fuel. over that, but you have fuel, you have you know maintenance. Uh, of course, with fuel, oil's gone up too, right? So just the maintenance yeah. has gone up, and then you've got you know salaries going up over time too. So. Which I think is a standard two percent in their contract, yeah, three percent. I'll double check. It's either I think they're two percent in their contract. And honestly, if it just went up just to cover that portion, would be suffice because that, that you don't the gas and oil is going to fluctuate from right. year to year. You don't, you know, so if it goes to $1.67 next year, we're, we're in the money, right? So, you know, to me, I'm not as concerned about that as much as I am, you know, just being able to cover. Well, that too, and when it comes time for renewal, if things have decreased, we can do a 0%, you know, carry on, right? Yeah. But when things are going up, 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 yeah, you don't want to fall too far behind, right? Because then we end up like we did with the water, water, water sewer, and you're exactly. jacking it up 15, percent and, like, and that's not good for that's, anybody. Yeah, that's a cold shot at that point. So, no, that's a good point. Thanks for bringing that up, Greg. I totally missed that. So appreciate it. Oh, and that's perfect timing too. So I'll head over there tomorrow evening and um, just run that by them and, and let them know. And I mean, from what I've talked to, they seem happy with our service. So. I can't imagine it being a deal breaker. I would hope not. I mean, <clears throat> just solved their murder in less than 10 hours. That's great for all that. Yes, I, I yeah. don't know. Um, okay. I don't have anything else. So you answered all my questions. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very happy with uh, the way the budget looks. I, I think this has been one of the easiest budget meetings I've had in years. Um, We're turning it back. I'm turning back a lot of money too. When I say I, I'm talking about the team inclusively. It's not just yeah. me. I know Harry's got money he's turning back in. I don't know about Fitch, but Jason's got money he's turning back in. I think Fitch has kind of blown his watch this year. So he's trying, no, but he's, um, he's also not got it all spent yet either. So don't challenge him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, he's <laughs> going to blow his timeline, is yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah. And we're way too close to the end. And then uh, <laughs> you're too late. Well, yeah, because they'll just get charged as budget next year. Yeah, well, it's too long. And, um, but I know, you know, uh, I know Harry just turned in a, uh, a grant for, uh, we, we have access to a PEP. So through our insurance, uh, basically, you just fill out the form and you get $1,000. And um, we get it every, we've gotten it every year since we've been here, or since I've been here. And for different things, and I know Harry just turned it in. He, he's just waiting on the check for, so he'll get an AED. Last year, Scott got it, I think, for uh, medical supplies for the cruisers. And the year before, um, I wrote it for uh, mulch at the park, you know. And then Harry's going to write it again right after the first year and get another AED because we need to we're having to switch brands on AEDs. And uh, so even with all that, he's still turning money back in, Good. you know. So. Um, taking advantage of all these different funds and with all that, just still turn it back in. So, you know, there's lots of good happening out there with it. And yeah, the budget is in the best shape I've seen for a long time. I and mean, I'm just happy that, you know, we are where we are right now. And I, I just appreciate everybody's hard work on that because, you know, for the longest time, we were always, it was where, you know, you've already cut to the bone. Where do we cut now? And now we're at that point where, like, okay, good. We've got some money. Can we appropriate a little extra money here so we can actually do stuff, you know, and, and improve things? So, um, so I appreciate all the work on that, and I know that's I know that's kind of collective, so that's great. So, okay. Well, I don't have anything else then. So, good as well. You know, gallery. No. no. Okay. All right. So at uh, seven eleven p.m., we'll close this meeting. Thank you, everybody.